Hi, good afternoon everyone. My name is Pastor Charles Williams and I'm the founder and the creator of the concept known all over the world today as the Amber Alert System. I've come by our studio here tonight just to uh, share with you a little bit of information. First of all, I want to say a special thanks to the uh, law enforcement officials there in the state of Illinois for uh, acting and, and being quick on their feet there uh, on earlier this week as a statewide Amber Alert was issued on behalf of two African-American uh, uh, little boys. And uh, we're happy to report here today that those little boys were found very early in the morning, I may add, uh, uh, in the state of Missouri, in the city of St. Louis, Missouri. They were found, now they were missing out of Illinois. So I wanna thank you so very much for, uh, for taking the time and even uh, alerting the surrounding states. And that brings up a very critical point. It's important that when a state issues an Amber Alert that I believe that it's important that all surrounding states automatically be informed because much like the weather system, when a storm is moving through, it's not just going to rain in your area and not others. And uh, this Amber Alert is based off of that same concept as to where if a storm is moving through your area, you would know exactly where to go and what to do and exactly what the storm is going to do. So uh, uh, that's, that's the prefix and that's the concept of the Amber Alert is that when it is issued in your area, uh, also it does affect the surrounding areas because one thing about the Amber Alert is that when a person uh, kidnaps uh, or, and or abducts a child, uh, you have to remember that most of the time they are mobile and they are going into someone's area. And so that's why it's important that uh, what we do uh, here at uh, AmberAlertFounder.com is uh, whenever we receive the information uh, that an alert has been uh, issued, we immediately contact all of the states in the surrounding state that issued the alert. What that quickly does, ladies and gentlemen, is that that quickly throws out a wide net, okay, and it brings it shrinks the area as to the mobility of a predator would be able to escape in because now he's not only being looked for in the state of Illinois, but they were being looked for in several other states uh, surrounding Illinois, so he became quickly uh, limited as to uh, their travel uh, in that. So I want to say thank you again uh, to them. Secondly, I want, I'm pleased to report that right, as of right now, which is about uh, 2.35 uh, here on the East Coast on March 12th, there are no active Amber Alerts. Uh, however, we encourage you to, uh, to visit the uh, National Center for Missing and Exploited Children's website. Uh, if, you, if you're just interested and you want to know about all the missing children in and around your area, we encourage you to go there and, uh, and type in your zip code and the other information that is asked and you will be able to, to see what's been going on, who's missing in and around your area. Secondly, I also want to encourage you to uh, uh, stay sharp, stay sharp, stay sharp, and uh, to go to the, uh, those of y'all who have iPhones, get that app, get that Amber Alert app. If you have an iPhone, also use the search on there to pull up sex offenders in your area. I'm quite sure you will be floored wherever you live in this United States of America. You will be floored when you type in your zip code as it relates to, uh, as it relates to sex offenders. And so uh, we encourage you to uh, know where the sex offenders are in your area so that you can not only keep your kids safe, but the kids of your community safe. You owe it not just to yours, but you owe it to be a contributor in your community. I also want to bring to your attention, if you have not yet heard, uh, about our book, uh, I'm book in which I am very proud of. It's called The Faces of the Amber Alert. That's right. The Faces of the Amber Alert, and it features myself and former President of the United States, George W. Bush, on the cover. And uh, it's available at Amazon.com or any major bookstore. Uh, if it's not on the shelf, tell them to order it for you. They'll be happy to get it. Okay, it's, uh, it's going to run you about 24, 25 bucks, and uh, it, it is available in both the hard copy as well as the uh, paperback version. It's published by Author House, and uh, we are excited. We are very, very excited because in this, it not only talks about how the Amber Alert was started and who it was started by, but it also goes into uh, what the Amber Alert means, what it does, and how it is designed to work. You know, it's been said that if you really want to know how something is supposed to work, go to the originator, okay? We have taken all of our information, and we have placed it in the book. 
everything is verified it is documented uh, emails and so forth are there and uh, I, I believe that it is something that every family needs you need to know what the laws are in in your state so many people are surprised when they find out that uh, that they may they may have an Amber Alert but their daughter or son may not make you know they may be older than the age criteria because in some states there are believe it or not there are some floating criteria you need a copy of this book faces of the amber alert okay get it go to your nearby barnes and noble borders bookstores uh it's in every bookstore across the country and again if they don't have it on the shelves go to the counter and tell them you want this book faces of the amber alert Okay, my time is about up here for now, and uh, be sure to stay tuned. Follow us on Twitter, follow us on YouTube, follow us at www.amberalertfounder.com. Uh, just follow us everywhere. We're popping up everywhere, saving children, saving their lives, keeping families together, reuniting children. Here's an amazing fact, okay? To date, I was checking our stats here today, according to our website at www.amberalertfounder.com, 512 children have been safely reunited back with their families as a result of the use of the Amber Alert concept. Now, let's put that in some kind of perspective. That's about the size of a school, okay? That's about the size of a, of, of a whole, of an entire school. Uh, in some cases, it's the size of a city that has been saved by the concept and the use of the Amber Alert concept. So we are extremely proud, we're extremely humbled at the government's use of the concept by which we came up with. Again, my name is Pastor Charles Williams, and I am the founder and the creator of the concept known all over the world today as the Amber Alert System. Stay tuned, and we'll be back with you. We'll hit you up again whenever we hear of another Amber Alert. Thanks, and God bless now. Bye-bye.